Today we'll read the scripture in Acts chapter 10. Read the scripture from verse 1 through 8. 가이사라의 권위를 한 사람이 있으니 이탈리아대라 하는 군대 백부장이라. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called Italian Band. 그가 경건한 원 집으로 두보라 하나님 경외하며 백성을 많이 구제하고 하나님 경선 기도하더. A devout man and one of the one of that one that feared God with all his house would gave which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. 하루 제 구시쯤 돼 환산 중에 밝히 봄에 하나님의 사자가 들어와 가로대. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. Cornelius, what should I do? I said, Lord, what is it? I said, I will pray to the Lord. I will pray to the Lord. I will pray to the Lord. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. And he lodged with one Simon, a tanner whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. 마치 말하는 천사가 떠나며 고네르와 집안 하인 둘과 종졸 가운데 경건한 사람 하나를 불러. And when the angel, when the angel which spake unto Cornelius was departed, he called two of his household servants and a devout soldier of them that waited on him continually. 이를 다 과거 요바로 보내니라. And when he had declared all these things unto them, he sent them to Joppa. 어 제가 이제 나이가 좀 많이 들었죠. I'm old in age. 근데 제가 구원을 받고 이렇게 60년이라는 세월이 지났습니다. And since I received salvation, it's been about 60 years now. 그 동안에 주님께서 제게 하신 일들을 다 말로 다할수 없었습니다. Meanwhile, I cannot tell all the details of what Jesus, what God did for me. 군에서 제대로 하고 제가 김천에 일하는 그때는 정말 저를 돕는 사람이 없었습니다. After getting discharged from the army, when I went to Kimchon and working there, there was nobody really helping me out there. 저들이 믿음이 없어서 좀 많이 굶었는데. And because I was faithless, I used to starve a lot. 제 아내는 아기를 가지고 배가 많이 나왔습니다. As my wife was pregnant, her her stomach was big. 굶어도 별 표가 안 나더라. So although she was starving, but that could that we could not easily tell that she was starving. 그날 아침에 저는 이런 생각을 했어요. So that day I thought. 아내를 데리고 따로라 데리고 왔어요. Maybe I should take my wife with me and the daughter with me. 저는 그때 뭐 차고 그러니까 뭐 걸음을 참 많이 걸었어요. Back then I worked a lot. 하여튼 뭐. Most of, the time, most of the times I walked on my foot. But my wife, she wasn't, she wasn't as fast in walking. When my wife, we visited an orphanage in Kimcheon. We met the director of the orphanage. Director, if these are children, if they grow up like this without their parents, if they go out to society, how hard that would be? 아무것도 요구하지 않겠습니다. I will not request you anything. 다만 아이들하고 일주일 동안만 내가 성경을 같이 수업해 달라고 기도. But just let me teach them the Bible for one week. 원장님이 한참 쳐다보시면서 아들을 쳐다보더라고. He looked at me for a while from head to toe. 그들이 
그러면 하라고 얘기했어요. And he told me eventually that okay, you could do that. 너무 너무 고마웠어요. I was very grateful. 그 아들 한 백여 명쯤 되는데. There was about hundred orphans. 웃으면서 이제 내가 이름을 소개하고 이제 산도 이름 이름 소개하고. He smiled on my face. I introduced, I introduced my name and my wife did the same thing. 원장님한테 이야기를 해서 여러분하고 일주일 같이 지내고 싶다. And we've talked with the director of the orphanage and we are we're going to spend one week with you guys. 제 아내는 배가 불룩해가지고. 찬송을 가르쳤어요. For my wife, her belly was big, and she was teaching them the hymns. 주는 나를 사랑해, 주는 나를 사랑해. 내 죄를 위하여 십자가 지셨네, 주는 나를 사랑해. 찬송 가르쳤어요. We taught them the hymns, which the lyric goes, "Oh, the Lord loves me, the Lord loves me, the one who carried the cross, he loves me." 과들이 사람의 정에 그리워가 있다가. They were really uh, hungry uh, for affection. 우리 이제 그 내외가 그 아이들 따뜻하게 돼 너무 좋아하는 거예요. As we were very uh, kind to those kids, they really appreciated. 원장님이 뒤에 앉아서 제가 말씀 이제 다 듣더라고요. And while I preached the word, the director she, she sat behind me, heard the word too. 잊을 수 없는 건. One thing I could not forget. 점심 때가 됐는데. Uh, when the lunch time came. 점심을 더 모잘 차려줬어. He treated us to good lunch. 정말 그때 그 어떤 점심 잘 잊어지지가 않아. I can hardly forget the lunch I had then. 정말 우리 맛있게 많이 먹었어. So we ate, we ate well. It was very tasty. 원장님한테 그렇게 고맙더라고요. We were very grateful to the director. 그리고 이제 또 점심 먹고 또 성경 말씀을 가르쳤어요. After having lunch, we taught them the Bible again. 제 아내는 애들을 참 사랑했어요. 막 My wife 안고 막 그러면서. My wife, she really, really loved those kids. She would hug them and have, spend time with them. It was so great. 또 점심 먹고 또 저녁까지 말씀 전하고. Until dinner, I would keep preaching the word. 저녁 또 너무 좋은 음식을 대접을 받았어. And they treated us with good food again for dinner. 그러고 난 뒤에 이제 저녁 또 말씀 전하고. And after dinner, I preached again. 밤이 늦었는데 저들이 제 집으로 돌아왔어요. And late in the night, we came back home. 4km는 좀덜 되는 거리인데. I think it was less than 4 kilometers. 제 아내는 걸음을 참잘못 걸어요. My wife she's not as fast in walking. 제 아내가 이 두름을 당신 날뭐 모든 못 한다 소리만 듣고. And maybe my wife if she hears me say that maybe she will tell me you you're telling me I'm not good at anything. 우리가 그날 정신 두 끼를 먹고 너무 너무 행복했어요. So after having two meals that day we were so happy. 집에서 잠을 자고. We went home we slept. 그 이튿 아침에 또 굶고 그래 가서. We went there again the next morning missing the breakfast. 하여튼 우리가 일주일 동안 했는데 그 원장님도 너무 좋아했어요. We did that for a week and the director of the orphanage really appreciated. 잘 잊어지지가 않았어요. I can hardly forget. 얼마 전에 김 구미에서 우리 크리스마스 칸타타를 하는데. A little while ago we held our Christmas cantata in Gumi. 김천 그 고등학교 재단 이사장이 오셨어요. There was a there was a president of the board of one high school in Kimcheon. 아, 그래서 이야기를 하다 보니까 그분이 그 과원 원장님의 아들이었어요. And as I was talking to him, I I realized that he was the son of director of the orphanage. 그 그날 좀 이야기를 하다가 And as I talked to him that day, 이제 제가 학교를 찾아갔어요. When I visited his school, 찾아갔는데 학교 이제 그 이제 재단 이사장이 돼서 And he became the president of the board. 복음을 쭉 전했어요. So I preached him the gospel. 그날 점심을 사겠다 그러더라고. And he said he, he was going to treat us to lunch. 아, 오늘은 참 미안한데 점심 먹을 시간이 안 된다. 내가 오후 시간이 있어서 죄송하다. And I, and I told him I'm sorry I can't have the lunch with you because I have a schedule this afternoon. 그 다음 날 내가 와서 점심 먹어 먹으면 되겠냐 그랬더니. But can I have the lunch with you maybe tomorrow? 아, 좋다고. Oh, he said okay. 아들하고 같이 갔어요. I went there with my son. 그 이제 소고기 집에서 불고기를 사줬어요. So in a restaurant they treated us to beef. 이제 불고기 다 먹고. So we ate it. 이제 제가 상을 다 물리고. And I put things away. 제 아들하고 앞쪽 쪽에 둘이 앉고 쪽에 이사장님하고 사모님 둘이 앉았어. So on our side I was sitting with my son and on their side the couple was sitting there. 복음을 전했어. And I preached them the gospel. 복음 지금도 참 가깝게 지나고 있어. And even now we are very close to one another. 학교일이 많이 바쁘긴 하지만. Although he's busy with the school affair. 제가 지금 하나님 안에 사는 동안에. While I live in God. 하나님은 절대로 우리를 외면하지 않으세요. God never let us down. He never denied us. 
정말 하나님의 손길이 없으면 나는 굉장히 어려움을 당할 일들이 참 많았는데. Without the care of God, I would have been through a lot more problems. 내가 어려움 당하는 그 많은 그런 일이 있을 때마다 하나님 모든 걸 너무 너무 아름답게 잘 정리를 해 주었어. But each time I have a problem, God took care of those problems that they went smoothly. 보통 이제 형제 아메들이 생각하기로는 목회자가 되막 어렵고 힘들고 막 고달프고 피곤한 그럴 줄 아는데. Uh, the brothers and sisters may think that being a pastor may be very tough and difficult and hard. 제가 만일 목사가 안 됐더라면. If I had not become a pastor. 어떻게 이런 삶을 상상할 수 있겠어요? How would I be able to imagine such a life? 오늘도 저를 만나는 분 많은 분들이 또 전화 나눠 통화를 했고. Today I called many people. I talked to many people on phone. 오후에는 제가 여의도에 가서 이제 한 분을 만났는데. In the afternoon, I went to Yeoido. I met a person there. 그분 따님이 미국에 저희들 교회 나오시는. His daughter was coming to our church in the United States. 아버지가 제가 좀 갈라 갔다 좀 알았으면 원하는 그. And her father didn't want, want me to come there and see him there. 그래서 지나가면 잠깐 들리는 식으로 해서 잠깐 들렸어요. So we told him that we're just passing by when he thought that it was your house. We said, why don't we stop by your house? And he came there. 뼈가 안 좋아 가지고 고생하는데. He had a problem with his uh, spine. 그 우리 교회 내가 아는 한의사 분이 계시는. And I told him we have an Oriental doctor in our church that I know very well. 아 진짜 잘하시는 분. And he's very good at his work. 나중에 기회 되면 그분 한번 소개해 주겠다. So if I have a chance, I would like to introduce you to him. Introduce you to him. 좋아하더라고요. And he was happy with it. 이야기는 이제 많이 못 하고. We could not speak for for a long time. 나왔어요. And we went out. 다시 한번 가면 구원 받을 것 같은 마음이 드는 거예요. I have the heart that if I go there one more time, maybe he would get saved. 제가 이제 예수님 안에서 60여 년을 살았는데. I spent 60 years in Jesus. 제가 사람들에게 참 수수한 일을 많이 겪었고요. I used to be I, there are many times when I was disappointed by people. 이제 그런 말좀 불편한 관계도 많았지만. There are times when I felt uncomfortable because of people. 하나님 눈에 안 보이 정확하게 저를 도우신 거예요. Although God is not visible, I cannot see that with my eyes, but I could see God helping me. 하나에서 열이면 열, 백이면 백다 도우시는 거예요. Ten out of ten, hundred out of hundred, God helped me in everything. 제 딸이 중학교 다닐 때인데. Well, around the time when my daughter went to middle school. 오늘 내가 이제 교도소 전도를 갔다가 돈을 한양 대학교 앞으로 지나가게 됐어요. After having been to prison for prison ministry, I was on my way back. I was passing by Hanang University. 그때 그때 오승윤 목사님이 나한테 이야기하기를 자기 교회 성도 하나 여기 한양 대학교에 좀 잠깐 들려서 기도해 주면 안 되겠냐고. And that's when Pastor Song Gino told me that there is a member of his church that was in hospitalized in Hanang University. Why don't you come stop by them there and pray for him? 그 내가 이제 병원에 들어갔어요. So I went into the hospital. 차에 내렸는데. When I got out of my car, 영국이가 막 달려왔어. I saw young girl running toward me. 갑자기 네가 여기 왜 왔냐? I was surprised. What brought you here? 아빠 누나가 지금 병원에 치료받고 있다. Oh, dad. Um, the, the, my my sister she's undergoing the treatment now. 가보니까 이제 제 딸아이가 학교 화학 실험 화학 실험을 했는데. So my daughter in school she had chemistry experiments. 이제 그 다음 시간에 이제 화학 실험에 들어가기 위해서. 그 쉬는 시간 이후에 이제 화학실에 왔는데. So after the break, they were supposed to go into the science lab for the for the class. 전반에 그 하던 그 학생들이 알코올 램프 위에다가 염산을 올려놨어. But the class, uh, the, the student who were there in the, in the in the previous class, they left the in you know, acid on the alcohol lamp. 그런지 그 염산을 올려놨는데 그게 터져가 제 아이가 염산 뒤집었어. And that kind of exploded and that fell on my daughter's head. 근데 잘 몰랐는데 그냥 병원 대충 뭐 닦고 이렇게 좀막 꺼져 칠해가지고 좀 발라봐야 나왔더라고. And they brought her to hospital and they put treated her and they put some ba bandage on her head. 아 얼마 지난데 보니까 살이 속에 썩어 들어가고 있어가지고. But not long later, when we looked into her wound, it was kind of rotting inside. 제, 제 아니 저제 아내가 데리고 병원에서 수술하고 있어. So my daughter brought brought her to hospital and she was being treated there in the hospital. 제가 이제 병원에 좀 그런 와서 이제 그 미도파에 가서 모자 하나 사 씌워주고. So I bought a I bought a hat, I bought a cap for my daughter. 이제 그때부터 제가 이제 학교를 그때 학교 침 차가 너무 복잡한데 성형 차로 이제 제가 학교가 데려다 주고 했어요. Because then the public transportation uh, transportation would be so crowded, so I gave her a ride to school every every morning. 부장 선생님이 저를 만나자 그러더라고요. So the school the school principal wanted to see me. 만났어요. I met him. 교장 선생님 말씀하시기를. The principal said. 전적으로 학교 책임입니다. Is uh, is 100% on our on our charge. Is we're going to pay for it. 모든 병원비를 다 지불하겠다. 
the school will pay for all the expenses that you, all the money that you have spent for your treat, for your daughter's treatment. And I didn't want it to do it that way. 왜냐하면 그 반에 그때 한 70명이 한 반에 있었는데. Because back then she had about 70 classmates in her class. 왜 하필이면 내 딸이냐? But why why was it my daughter out of all these students? 왜내 딸이 염산 뒤집어 썼는지 난 알고 싶어. Why wasn't my daughter on who said the the, the acid fell on? You know, treating her that doesn't cost us a lot of money. So maybe you don't you don't have to worry about it. We'll deal with it. Back then we're living in Emma apartment. And our church was around uh, around this area. 자, 아침마다 차를 타고 오면서 언수일 학교 데려다 주고 그러고 왔어요. So every morning I would give, give her a ride and then take her to school and I would come back. 이제 한, 한 번씩 이렇게 언수에 차, 차를 타고 가면서 언수 신화에 관한 이야기를 참 이제 했는데 And as we were going to school we talked about her spiritual life. 내가 복음을 알긴 알지만 명확하지 않은 그 부분을 she knew the gospel, but as I was talking to her, I realized that the gospel in her was not clear. I was very thankful before God. Oh, you let this happen. There were 70 students in the class. Why was it on my daughter's head that that acid fell on? Because God must want to tell me something. So my daughter Unsuk's salvation was not clear. So as I was giving her a ride to school, I would explain the gospel to her. Sometimes I would stop the car in front of the school and I would speak for a while. And afterwards she came to receive salvation. Maybe that's why God let that happen. She let, let, let that acid fall on my daughter's head. After my daughter being saved, she changed so much. From then I could see some spiritual characteristics in her and I was very thankful. So God bestows everything upon us by grace. Even now she is leading Gracia's choir in U.S. now. Recently they produced a movie and it was so well made. And through the choir music they are gaining the heart of many Americans. And every year we held Christmas cantata in U.S. It may differ depending on the city, but people they would maybe thousands of people they would gather, they would enjoy the music, they would they would hear the they would listen to the word of God. So from the school side, they said they will be in charge of the treatment. They said they will pay for the treatment. Okay, we can get the money, get the money from them. So I thought to myself, why was it on my daughter's head that this acid fell on? I wanted to figure out why. But later I came to discover that her salvation was not clear. And after receiving salvation, her life changed so much. And it was around middle, uh, middle, middle school. But I could see her thinking about Jesus alone and living for Jesus. It was beautiful. So when they were going to elementary school, my son Youngwook, he beat so many kids there, so he caused us a lot of trouble. But on the other hand, Eunsuk was rather being beaten by the student there, so he, he was but after receiving salvation, she she lived totally different life. So I became a pastor. My father got saved. And my older brother got saved. And my sisters got saved. My two sisters. My brother got saved. And my uncle's family in Japan, they got saved. 
구원을 받는 거예요. And all my relatives around me, they got saved. 이제는 나이가 좀 들어서 As I'm old in age now, 이제는 과거를 생각해 보는 거예요. Uh, when I recall my past, 과거를 생각하면 너무 너무 감격스러운 거예요. When I think about my past, I'm so moved. 이번에 이제 손자들이 이제 그 뭡니까 제 선교학교 들어오고 했는데. And this time, one of my uh, grand uh, grandchildren is joining the missionary school. 내가 하나님과 참 감사한 것은. And I'm so thankful before God because. 그 손자들이 이제 성교학교 돌아와서 이제 공부를 하는 거 너무 감사한 거예요. When I see my grandchildren joining missionary school and studying, I'm so thankful. 내가 대통령이 돼서 이렇게 행복했을겠나? If I become a president, would I be this happy? 삼성을 가졌다면 이렇게 행복했어. If I owned Samsung, would I be this happy? 그렇지 않은 거예요. I don't think so. 그다고 해서 옛날에 처음엔 좀 어려움을 겪었지만. It's true. In the past, I went I went through some difficulties. 제가 이제 그 중국 공천당에 가서 강의를 하고 난 뒤에 After giving lectures in Chinese Youth League in China, 중국에 이제 그한 서점에서 저한테 연락을 했어요. There was this one publishing house that contacted me there. 당신이 그 공천당에 강의한 내용 원고가 너무 좋다. They said your script on which on about which you gave your lectures on they were really good. 이틀 동안 강의를 했는데 And you gave lectures for two days. 양이 너무 저거 책을 만들기 어려운데. The content is not big enough so we cannot make it into a book. 책이 되도록 해서 써 주면은 우리가 책을 출판해 주겠다. If you write us more scripts so that we can publish a book that would be great. 그래, 중국 그 출판사 얘기를 했어요. So we talked to that Chinese publishing house. 내 책을 몇권 팔아줄 수 있냐 물어보니. So how many copies of my book do you think you could sell? 그런 원고라면 천오백권, 아 천오백만 권 팔아주겠다. They said as your book is good, we will be able to sell maybe fifteen million copies. 천오백만 권이면 제가 생각 돈이 막몇 억이 되겠더라. And I thought I would be making maybe hundreds of thousands, thousands of won. 그래서 이제 원고를 써서 나를 끌어왔는 누구냐 그책 원고를 써서 보냈어. So I wrote the wrote the script script for the Who Are You Dragging Me and I sent them. 중국은 난잘 몰랐는데 그때 알았는데. I didn't know it then, but I later I I came to know. 내 책을 냈어요. I we published our book. We launched our book. 두 가지를 출판했어. But they published two versions of my book. 하나는 해적판을 팔고. One was the private version of my book. 본본을 파는. And the other one was the original original uh, copy of my book. 똑같이 그 책자에 두 권을 놓고. And they would display two books on the same in the same uh, bookstore. 본본하고 해적판은 반값이니까. And they had the original copy of my book and they had the private version of which the price was half. 누가 원본 책을 사겠어요? Who would buy the original copy then? 해적판만 다 사니까. They'd all buy the private version of my book. 10원도 돈을 받지 못했어. So I couldn't even make a penny out of my book. 그러면 이제 그런 책도 이제 우리가 여기 교보 문구 나오니까. But we were also selling our books in Kyobo bookstore. 출판비가 이제 나오는 거. 원고세가 나오는 거. So I was getting my profits out of those books. 제, 책을 쓴게 제가 한 70. So far, I heard that I wrote about 70 books. 지금 지금도 계속해서 제가 책을 쓰고 있는데. Even now, I'm writing books. 그 이제 책이 아마 뭔데 생이 한 100권을 쓸것 같더라고. Eventually, I'll be I'll be writing maybe 100 books, I suppose. 보통 이제 밤에는 집에 종아할 때 책을 쓰고 하는데. Usually, when I go home in the night, as it's it's quiet, I would write books. 이 책이 팔리니까 수입이 들어오는 거야. As my books are being sold, I was making profit out of it. 저희들이 감사한 게. I was thankful because. 예능 예배당을 지을 때. As we're constructing our chapel in Benin. 또그 IT 예배당 지을 때. And we're constructing our chapel in Haiti. 그리고 또 다음 잠비아. And in Zambia. And Kenya, and Malawi. Recently, we're building our building our building in Eswatini too. Ah, 건물 짓는데 이렇게 돈을 쓸수 있어 너무 감사해요. So I could spend this money on those uh constructions. 물론 그외 다른 데쓸 때도 있지만. Of course, sometimes I spend my money on other stuff too. 제가 이렇게 주님 안에 살면서. As I live in the Lord, 좀 이제 옛날에 좀 처음에 좀 배고플 때 있고 가난할 때 있었는데. In the beginning, we were poor. In the beginning, we went through a lot of difficulties. 내삶 모든 걸 돌봐 주고 계시는 거예요. But God was taking care of every aspect of my life. 오늘 오후에 잠깐 여의도에 미국에 있는 자매가 와서 자기 아버지 좀 만나다가. As one of the sisters in the U.S. came to came to uh, came to ask me to see her her father. 그분 언제 한 삼십 분 전에 전에 통화를 한번 하고 오늘 가서 삼십 분 동안 만났는데. Before going there, I talked talked with him on phone for about thirty minutes. I went to see him there for about thirty minutes. 허리가 아주 안 좋더라고. He said he has bad back. 그런데 이제 그걸 병원에서 못 치료한다. But in the hospital, he could not be well treated. 
And I felt as though our elder Hwang would be able to treat him. So I told him to stop by our place so that I can introduce him to our uh, elder. And I want want him to be healed. He's about three years younger than three years younger than me. 제가 이렇게 보면 저러면서 내가 나도 그 위장이 안 좋을 때 있었고 even myself I had hard time because of my stomach. 심장이 안 좋을 때 있었는데. There were times when I or my heart was not uh, good. 똑같은 사람이 그분 전혀 다르시더라고요. But he was the same person but we were different. 아, 저분이 진짜 좋은 의사를 만나 저 허리를 고쳐서. If you could meet a good doctor, if you could have his back treated. 예수를 믿으면 얼마나 좋을까 하는 생각이. If he believes in Jesus, how nice that would be. I thought so. 제가 우리 교회에 구원받은 형제자매들 가운데 잘 사는 분들도 있고 못 사는 분들도 있고. Among our brothers and sisters in our church, there are people who live well off and there are people who are not living as well. 사시는 분들도 없지 많은 많아, 많아 보여요. There are people who also find it hard to make ends meet in their life. 우리 교회 형제자매들을 만나면. But when I meet the brothers and sisters of my church, 참 몸이 불편해서 기도 받으실 분도 많고. There are people who want some prayer because they are not physically they are not physically well. 저는 이제 저 뭐야 상담하는 경우도 많고. Sometimes I have counseling with them on phone. 또 전화를 기도해 달라는 분들도 많고. Some people they ask me to pray for them on phone. 또 이제 가정 여러 가지 일로 상담하는 분들이 많아서. There are people come to have a counseling with me because of their certain uh, their 참, house affairs. 그런데 이제 생각 너무 우리 형제아멘은 다른 거예요. So but our brothers and sisters they are they are so different. 그냥 이제 보, 보통 눈이 아니고 눈을 떠서 정확하게 보면은. So when you open our eyes and see them precisely. 돈이 아무리 많아도. No matter how much money you may have. 구원 받자는 참 불쌍하게 보이는 거예요. Those who have no salvation I I feel pity for them. 가난하게 살아도 they may live poor life. 구원받으면 얼마나 행복하다는 걸 느끼는. But I can feel that when they are saved, they are so happy. 내 귀한 구원을 전한 목사가 되었다. As a pastor preaches about the salvation. 이제 나이가 많은 얼마나 더 이제 단에 설수 있는지 모르겠어. As I'm old, I don't know for how many years I would be able to stand on the podium. 얼마나 더 복음을 전할 수 있었는지 모르겠지만. I don't know for how many more years I would be able to preach the gospel. 그런 생각 내 마음이 그렇게 감격스러운 거야. But when I think about that, that makes me so moved. 세상에 뭘 해서 이렇게 행복할 수가 있겠나? What would make me so happy in the world? 세상에 뭐 정말 뭘 해서 이렇게 기뻐할 수 있겠나? What can I do to make me so joyful like this? 많은 형제들 죄사함 받고 기뻐하는 거. Many brothers and sisters they are so joyful after receiving the forgiveness of sin. 그 놀라운 거. And that's really amazing. 오늘 우리가 이제 읽은 성경은 사도행전 10장을 읽었는데. The scripture that we read today is Acts chapter 10. 우리가 사도행전에 그 8장에 정말 그 고넬료가 죽는 이야기가 나오죠. In Acts chapter 10, there's a story where the Cornelius die. 그 이제 구장에 이제 그 사울이 교회를 핍박하고 잔해하는 이야기. And in chapter 9, there was uh, there was the persecution of Saul. 근데 십장에 딱 들어섰는데. But when we get into chapter 10, 이번 가이 아, 죄송합니다. 고넬 여기 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 고넬료 잠깐 말 고넬료 스테반. 예, 서대만이 죽었고. Stephen died in chapter eight. 십장 이제 고넬료가 나옵니다. And when we get into chapter ten, was Cornelius was there? 가이샤르 이분은 로마 군대의 백부장인데. It was a centurion of the Italian army. 그러니까 이제 이스라엘 나라가 로마 속국이기 때문에 군대들을 보내 나라를 이제 장악하고 있는데. As, col- as Israel was colonized by Rome back then, they were being conquered by Italians. 이스라엘 땅에서 로마로 가는 가장 가까운 거리 가이사라예요. 가이사라 was one of the cities that was closest to Rome back then. 이제 그 바울이 가이사라에서 저 뭐야 잡혀가요 벨릭스 앞에 이제 재판 받고 그런 얘기 나오다 이제 다 로마로 가는 얘기 나오는데. So Paul he was arrested in Caesarea. So he stood before Felix and he was brought to Rome later. 가이샤라에 이제 이스라엘은 로마 속국이고 로마의 백부장이 굉장히 파워가 있는 사람이에요. So back then Israel was colonized by Rome and he was a centurion of Rome. 이제 우리나라로 말할 것은 아마 한 부산이나 대구 경찰청장 모든 그 경찰도 현재 우리나라 경찰하고 이제 속국의 경찰청장이니까 막 높은 그런 위치에 있는 사람. Maybe he, maybe he's the head, of, head of maybe prosecution, prosecution office. Maybe today, if you were going to refer to a position today. 그래서 십장을 읽는데 너무 너무 놀라운 게 뭐냐면은. But as we read chapter 10, what is really amazing here? 이렇게 시작해요. Yeah, let's begin. 가이샤르의 고넬료라는 사람이 쓴 이탈리아 대란 군대 백부장이라. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of a band called the Italian Band. 이제 뭔가 경건 온 집으로 두 분을 하나님 경외하며 백성을 많이 보자 하나님께 항상 기도하더라. 
Verse 2, devout man and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. 이 사람 로마 군인인데. He was a Roman soldier. 군대에 그냥 최고 높은 사람인데. He was one of the highest uh, officer. 그 경건하고. He was a devout man. 온 집으로 또 하나님을 경외하고. He feared God all his house. 백성을 많이 구제하고. And he gave a lot of a, a lot of alms to the people. 하나님께 항상 기도하더니. He prayed to God always. 로마 이렇게 높은 계급을 가진 군대 대장인데. He was a high ranked officer in Rome. 정말 하나님을 그 진심으로 섬긴 너무 놀라운 거예요. But he was serving God sincerely with his heart. That's amazing. 사도행전을 보면은 바울이 잡혀가서 벨릭스 총독에게 재판 받는 얘기가 나오는데. Uh, when you see the book of Acts, there is a story where Paul is taken to the Felix, the governor. 이 벨릭스는 이제 로마 사람, 이스라엘 나라 총독으로 전체 이스라엘 다섯 년 사람 로마 왕이 보낸 사람이에요. Felix was the one who was, was sent by the Roman emperor to rule over Israel. 근데 그 벨릭스가 자기가 로, 이스라엘 나라 총독이 되기 위해서 로마 총독이 되기 위해서 so in order to become the uh, governor of Israel from Rome 이스라엘 여자하고 결혼했더라고. He got married to Israeli woman. 그래 이스라엘 가난한 게 자기 이스라엘 총독이 되기 위해서 많은 공부를 해 가지고 우리 그 기독교에 대해서 예수님에 대해서 잘 알더라고. So in order to become the governor of Israel, he studied a lot about Christianity then. 근데 그 벨릭스 그 총독이 So this governor 벨릭스 총독이 2년 동안을 바울을 잡아 가지고 가둬두고 있었어요. So he had captured uh, Paul for two years, so he was with him for two years. 몇 번씩 바울을 불러 가지고 말씀을 듣고 재판도 하고 그랬어요. As he had him bound, he would call him from time to time and talk to him and hear from him. 근데 이제 바울이 막그 심판에 대해 막 두려워하면서. So when Paul talked about the judgment, he was afraid about it. 시방은 가라, 내가 다시 부를게. But he said, for now you can go. I'll call you back later. 그 사람은 우리가 믿는 이 예수님에 관한 종교도 잘 알고 있고. This man he knew well about this religion, Christianity. 벨릭스의 아내는 유대 여자, 이스라엘 여자예요. The wife of Felix was a Jewish woman. 이 사람 이스라엘 총독이 자기가 근데 이스라엘 잘 아주 그렇게. 완벽하게 모든 거 알아요. So in order to become the governor of Israel, he prepared everything and he knew well perfectly. 근데 여러분 그 사람이 2년 동안 바울을 감옥에 잡아 놓고 있으면서 So he had Paul bound for 2 years. 자주 불러서 이야기를 해요. Would call him often times and talk to him. 돈을 좀 받을까? 그런 기대를 가지고. Expecting that maybe he would give him some money. 이제 그 바울은 돈을 안준것 같아요. But apparently Paul did not give him any money. 말씀을 계속 전했어요. But he rather talked about the word. 근데 이제 이분이 구원을 못 받고 But he was not saved. 이제 나중에 이 사람이 그냥 바울을 안 돌리고 그다 감옥에 놔두고 다시 이제 그 베스도 총독으로 오더라고요. So without freeing him later, he just went away, and there was another governor who called Festus came. 이 사람 나름대로 어떤 생각을 하고 있었는지 잘다 모르겠지만. So I don't understand all his thoughts. 우리가 아는 그 기독교에 대해 잘 알고. He knew well about the Christianity. 이스라엘 모든 걸잘 아는데. He knew well about Israel. 바울에게 정말 진지하게 복음을 들었더라면. He could have heard the gospel from Paul. 얼마나 좋았겠습니까? How nice that would have been. 바울 정말 고마워. Hey Paul, thank you. 내가 우리 가족 다 복음 전하고 싶어. I want, I want to preach this gospel to all my family. 내 아들에게도 이 복음 전해주고. I want to preach the gospel to my wife. 내 아들에게도 보내 복음을 전해주고. To my sons and daughters. 얼마나 좋았겠어. How nice that would have been. 그렇게 하지 않다. But he did not do that. 왜요? Why? 자기 바라는 게 그게 아닙니다. Because he was there was something that he wanted. 신령한 세계를 모릅니다. He did not know the spiritual world. 저는 자주 자주 생각합니다. Often times I think to myself, 우리만큼 행복한 사람이 있을까? Is there anyone who would be as happy, would be more happy than us? 한 번도 제가 생각해 봐도 그런 없을 것 같아. I don't think there would be anyone who's at, who's, who's as happy as us. 이 복음 전은 이게 얼마나 귀한지. Preaching this gospel, it is so valuable. 성경 학생들이 와서 교육을 받지만은. Mission students they come for training. 근데 마음을 다하지 않는 걸 많이 봐요. But often times I don't see they are not pouring all their heart into it. 이 복음이 얼마나 놀라운 것이고. This gospel is so amazing. 이 복음 내가 남에게 전하다 보니까. So while preaching this gospel to others. 만일 아버지가 돌아가실 때 그때 내가 복음이 서툴어서 아버지 구원은 못 받으셨을 때. When my father died before then, if I was not skillful in preaching the gospel, then he would not be saved. 복음을 이제 많이 전해서 복음에 익숙하니까. 아버지가 한번 말씀대 구원을 받으신 거예요. But as I had preached the gospel a lot and many times I was used to it so I could preach the gospel well to him and he could be saved. 돌아가신 뒤에 형님은 일본에 계시다가 좀 비행기가 안 맞아 가지고 
아버지가 인정을 못 인정하신 뒤에 돌아오셨어. So when my father passed away because my brother then he was in Japan he could not find the right flight so he came later. 형님은 슬퍼하셔. My brother he was very sad. 한 평생 아버지 모셨는데. All his life he had served his father. 난 아버지 모시 뭐 형이 일본 간다 잠몇달 이제 모셨는데. Yeah, and he, I just served my father for a couple months while he was away in Japan. 우리 아버지 구원하시고 그런 기회를 만들으셨어. But in order to in order to save my father he created such a opportunity for me. 그 당시 아버지는 위에서 출혈이 많이 돼서. Because back then he had the stomach bleeding. 헤모글로빈이 피가 자꾸 모자라는. His hemoglobin was not sufficient in his organism. 얼마 전에 제가 헤모글로빈 제발 14.4라고 들어. I measured my hemoglobin rate it was about 14.4. So when you when you have a hemoglobin rate of 14.4 it means it's very dense. 8.3, 이렇게 내려가셨어요. For my father, sometimes he went down to eight or five. 수혈제들을 그랬는데. That's when we had to also have blood, a blood transfusion. 이제 아버지가 내가 예수 믿을 거래도 참 아버지는 예수 안 믿고 싶어 하셨어요. I recommended him to believe in Jesus. 친구들이 너무 not, 좋아가지고. As he liked his friends so much. 친구들 한술한잔 마실 그게 그렇게 즐거웠어요. Having a drinks with his friends it was something which made him so uh, joy. 그래서 이제 마지막에 아버지가 몸이 안 좋으셨을 때. And in the end, when he was not well. 은하를 One day he called me. 은숙이 애비 밖에 있나? Hey, 은숙's father, are you there? 아버지 저를 우리 은숙 이름 은숙이 애비라고 그래. Used to call me 은숙's father. 예 아버지. Yes father. 아버 아버지 방에 내 아내와 같이 들어갔어요. And I went into his room with my wife. 아버지가 자리에 누워 계시다가 일어나 앉으셨어요. He was lying on the floor and he stood up. He sat up. 깜짝 놀라. And we were surprised. 위에 고여 있던 그 피를 And as he sat up, he he vomited. He threw up the blood which was stagnated in his stomach. 저도 막 너무 당황해. We were shocked. 제 아내 막 울고 울고. And my wife she began she burst into tears. 아버지도 깜짝 놀라. My father too was very surprised. 우리가 피를 다 닦고 정리를 했어요. We wiped the blood and we arranged everything. 아버지 새 요에 누워들었어요. And we had we had him lay in in the new blanket. 아버지 새로 누워서. I was lying in the as he was lying in the new blanket. He did not see anything. 그때 방에 제 아내 나 나나 아버지도 아 이제 아버지가 끝이구나 알았어. My father, myself, and my wife, all three of us, we all knew that this was the end of to my father. 아버지가 누워 계시는데. He was lying on the floor. 아버지 괜찮습니까? And I asked him, Father, are you okay? 괜찮다. It's okay. 내가 뭐 피가 고여 있는 게 통해서 좀더 몸이 가벼워졌을 건데 그때는 막 모르니까 막 걸고 너무 난 겁을 먹었어. Might have felt lighter because he had vomited the blood which was uh, which was stagnated in his stomach, but back then I didn't know it, so I felt very sorry for him. 아버지께 이야기했어요. And I told him. 아버지 형님도 안 계시는데. Uh, my brother is not around. 만일에 아버지가 세상을 떠나시면. If uh, you, if you happen to pass away now. 아버지 생각 날 때마다. 아버지 목소리라 듣고 싶어서 녹음기를 장치했는데. So I prepared this recorder, wanting to hear your voice whenever we miss you. 아버지 저들에게 하고 싶은 이야기를 하시면 제가 녹음해 놨다가 형님도 들려드리고 아버지 돌아가신 뒤에라도 아버지 생각날 때좀 듣고 목소리 듣고 싶다고. So if you want to tell us anything, then I'm going to record this so that I can we can hear your voice whenever we want to hear your voice. 아버지가 잘했다. And he said, "Oh, that's good." I want to tell you something. I tell you anyway. The cassette tape is an hour long, and it's almost complete. And it was a tape of 60 minutes, but it was almost full when he spoke. So he talked about a lot of things. We don't know a lot of things. He talked about things that we didn't know. As he was taking breaks, sometimes. Then, at the end, he said, "In the end, as if I pass, if I die." 장지는 뒷산도 어머니 장지 그참 좋은 자리다 그 옆에 하면 됐다. You're gonna bury me next to my next to your mother, which is behind our house. 그리고 내 몸에 옷 갈아입힐 사람을. And the one who's gonna change my clothes. 서당 마을에 김 씨를 불러라. Can call Mr. Kim in Sodang Village. 그 사람 내가 어릴 때 내가 많이 도와줘서 날 만지면 더럽다고 안 할까. I took good care of, care of him from his young age. So I don't think he's going to find me dirty when he changes my clothes. 그게 아버지 유언의 전부다 마지막이었어요. That was the end of my father's will. 제가 아버지께 물었어요. And then I asked my father. 아버지, 아버지가 돌아가시면 Father, when you pass away, 아버지 말씀 하나도 안 빠뜨리고 그대로 아버지를 모시겠어요. Without, without missing any any of your will, we're going to do as we are told. 
아버지 몸은 제가 그렇게 모실 수 있는. So I can serve your body as you told us. 아버지 영혼은 어디로 가시? So what would you do with your soul? 아버지가 뜨시더라고요. And he was trembling. <웃음> And he sent out a deep, a deep, he sent out a deep sigh. And he opened his lips. 내가 하늘 나라에 가고 싶다. And said, I want to go to heaven. 그런데, however, 그런데, however, 너무 늦었다. I think this is too late. 내가 무슨 공로가 있어야 하늘 나라에까지. I should have some good deeds which can bring me to heaven. 전 너무 감사한 게 I was very thankful 우리 공로로 가는 게 아니고 Because we're not going to heaven out of our good deeds 예수님의 은혜로 가는 거잖아 We are going there by the grace of Jesus 그날 제가 아버지께 복음을 전했어요 So that day I preached the gospel to my father 한한 시간 가까이 For about an hour 카세트 테이프가 딱 60분 딱 The tape was exactly 60 minutes 그날 아버지 입에서 하나님 예수님 감사합니다. That day I could hear my father say, "Oh, Father, oh God, Jesus, I thank you." 다치고 십자가에 못 박혀 감사하다. You carried away my sins and you died at the cross. 구원을 받으셨어요. He was saved. 그 제가 아버지는 고향에서 돌아가시는 게 좋을 것 같아서. So I thought it would be better if he passed away in his village. 엠브런스 하나 빌려가지고 아버지 모시고 고향 갔어. So rented an ambulance, we brought him to his village. 주무시고 아침 일어나셨어. And he slept in the car and he got up in the morning. 아버지를 부르시더니 He called me. 야, 내가 대구에서 올 때마다 길이 험해서 너무 힘들었는데. And each time I come from Daegu as the road, road is rugged, I, I had hard time coming. 어제 앰뷸런스 그차 그거 너무 편하게 왔다. You know, that car called ambulance. I was really com- I felt really comfortable in the car on my, on my way. 내가 하나님 앞에 감사하다. I was so thankful before God. 찬송 좀 불러 주면 안 되나? Can you guys sing some hymns for me? 아버지 구원 받으시고 너무 달라지. After his salvation, my father changed so much. 제가 막 눈물을 흘리면서 감격했어. I was so moved with tears. 내가 목사가 돼서 다른 많은 것도 했겠지만. As a pastor, I did a lot of things. 많은 전도한 게 아버지 복음 전하기 연습한 것밖에 안 보이는 거예요. But all the witnessing I did, I felt as though I did them as a practice to preach the gospel to my father. 아버지 돌아가신 뒤에 형님은 그렇게 슬퍼하셨어요. When my mother, when my father passed away, my older brother he was very sad. 난 부려자다. I'm a bad son. I'm a bad son. He said. 속으로 난 효자다. But in my in, in the ins, on the inside, I th- I thought to myself, I'm a good son. 마침 형님 일본 가시 제가 아버지를 잠 당분간 모시게 됐는데. I had to serve my father just for a short while because he was gone in Japan. 우리 가족들 다 구원하기 하나 그렇게 하신 것 때문에 너무 감사한 거. But when I saw the plan, I've got wanted to save my whole family. I was very thankful. 내가 뭘 주고 우리 가족 한명 빠지면 다 구원받는 이런 복을 주시겠나? How can I have this kind of blessing when where all my family are, are getting saved? 나는 하나님 한거 아무것도 없는데. So I didn't do anything for God. 함 나에게 모든 걸다 주셨어. But God gave us everything. 지금 뭐더 바랄 것이 없을 만큼. I don't want anything more. 가족들 다 구원하시고. So he saved all my family. 일본에 있는 작은 아버지. Even my uncle in Japan. 여기 이제 제 손자도 며칠 와서 성교학교 배우고 있고요. And my grandchildren, they have joined our missionary school learning. 생각하면 한 더. So when I think about it, I'm so thankful. 이제 내가 뭐좀 있다가 주님 앞에 가면 되고. In a short while, I'll be standing before the Lord. 이제 여기 내가 그로 올라올 수 없으면 이제 복음을 이제 못 전할 건데. 얼마나 더 앞으로 내가 올라올 수 있는지 모르겠지만. I don't know until when I'll be able to walk up to the stage like this today. 아직까지 비행기도 잘 타니까 이번 이스라엘도 갔다 올라 하고. I can take, take, I can still take pl- a flight. 이스라엘 마치고 난 뒤에 또 그쪽에 한번 아프리카 여러 나라 제 약속이 돼서 가서 이제 이렇게 대통령도 배야하고 뭐 여러 가지 만남. 있어서, and after our program in Israel, on our way back, as we have some appointment with many other governments, we're going to stop by the And after then, we'll have to go to U.S. 미국도 이번엔 좀좀더 있으면서 한달 가까이 있으면 집회 좀 여러 도시마다 하고 싶은 마음이 있는데. And I have the heart to spend more time than usual in U.S. and want want to organize conferences. 모르지만, I don't know when I'm going to pass away. 지금 내가 지금 죽는다고 해도. Even if I were to die right now, 감격하고 감사한 것밖에 없는. 거야. I think all that I have is thankfulness and gratitude. 그 당시에 이스라엘 나라 정말 그 뭡니까 
사울이 그리스도인들 피박하고 Back in those days Paul persecuted Christians. 스테반이 죽고 Stephen died. 이제 많은 사람들이 예루살렘 못 있어서 이제 사도들은 다 갖고 흩어지고 막 그랬어요. Christians they could not stay in Jerusalem anymore. They were spread out. They were scattered. 근데 하나님께서 이제 그 사울이 구원받는 역사들이 일어나는 거예요. Well, we could see this work where Paul was saved. 그런 이제 고넬료가 구원받는 이 역사이라는 거예요. And this work where Cornelius was saved began. 고넬료는 오래 전부터 하나님을 믿어서 우리가 믿는 하나님. From long ago, Cornelius believed God, God who we believe. 그들이 이제 그 한국 저 이스라엘 총도 올 때마다 이스라엘 종교 같은 걸 연구하고 그래가지고 미리 그 다스리기 위해 그건 다 배워가요 오는 것 같더라고. And the governors, whenever they come to Israel, as they are the as they are the governor of Israel, they learn their traditions and their things. 그런데 고넬료가 와서 하나님을 온 마음을 다해 섬기는데. But Cornelius, as he served God with all his heart, 한 천사가 나타나서. 시몬 베드로를 청하라는 거죠. One angel, one angel came by and said, "Why don't you invite up Simon Paul?" 그래서 이제 고넬료가 이제 총두 명을 보내가 베드로를 초대했는데. So Cornelius sent two of his messenger, two of his servant to invite invite Peter. 베드로가 처음에 한 이야기 무슨냐면. What what Peter said in the beginning. 유대인들이 이방인들을 교제하는 위법인 것들이 다 알거니와. And you know it's not lawful for Jewish people to deal with Gentiles. 아무도 부정치 않다고 말하지 말라 시로 부름을 상치하고 왔는데. As God told me nothing. Not, as we as God told me. Not to call the, those unclean things unclean. And he asked them, "Why did you invite me?" 뭐 나를 왜 청하기 왜쳐 복음 전화 복음 전하면 되는데. Why would I invite him? They invited him to preach them the gospel. 이제 그때부터 이제 유대인들은 그때까지만 해도 복음을 듣지 못했어요. So until then, the Gentiles had not heard the gospel. 이방인들은요. The Gentiles had not heard the gospel. 근데 이제 이방인의 때가 되면서. But as the time of the Jew, time of the Gentiles opened. 이제 사도행전에 보면 이제 이방 이방인들에게 복음 전거 그때는 이방인들 개처럼 취급 안 했는데 복음 전하는 이들이 막 열려져 너무 너무 감사한 거예요. So in the book of Acts, we can see how they began to preach the gospel for the Gentiles and they began to get saved. 베드로는 할례자 유대인들에게 복음을 전했고. So Peter preached the gospel to the circumcised, the Jewish people. 바울은 이방인의 전도자였어요. And Paul was the preacher for the Gen- uncircumcised. 바울도 예루살렘의 유대인 아니고 이방인들에게 복음을 전하다가. So Paul preached the gospel to Gentiles. 결국 이제 로마에까지 가서 복음을 전한 일들이 나고. And he went all the way to Rome and preached the gospel there. 그 로마에 많은 분들이 구원을 받았어요. And many people got saved in Rome. 그 이런 역사들이 이런 너무 너무 신기한 거예요. So it is so amazing to see this kind of works that God is doing. 우리가 볼때 그리스도인 피박을 당. In our eyes, Christians were being persecuted. It seemed like they were going through tribulations. 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 They were 아무리 돈이 많거나 잘 산다고 해도 no matter how well you may live, 구원받는 것하고 비교는 안 되는. No matter how much money you may have, that's not comparable to the salvation. 참 많은 교회 목사님들 만나봤는데 죄 때문에 고민하는데. I've met many many pastors who are worried about sin. 우리 하나님은 은혜를 입어서 죄 산받는 이 복음을 전하는 게 얼마나 행복한지 모르는 거예요. But receiving this grace of God, being able to preach this gospel of God, gospel of Jesus, that's so thankful. 그래도 우리 죄 산받는 이 복음을 전할 때 많은 사람이 구원받고 우리와 같이 하는 것도. 너무 너무 아름다워. And each time we preach this uh, salvation and forgiveness of sin, we are so thankful that people are there being together with us. 세계 이제 많은 나라가 우리를 향해서 마음을 열었어. And many countries around the world they have opened up their heart toward us. 이제 우리가 같이 복음을 하는 분들이 많아질 거예요. And a number of the people are working doing the work of the gospel with us as we preach. 우리가 앞으로 계속 이런 복음을 전할 일을 계속 하는데. And we will continue to do this work of the gospel. 내가 우리 시대에 이렇게 복음을 전할 수 길을 열어 주셔서 너무 감사하고. I'm so grateful to God for opening this door to in our generation to preach. 특히 이번에 코로나로 인해 전 세계가 막 어려울 때. And as the whole world is going through difficult difficult times because of COVID-19. 하나님 우리에게 은혜를 베풀어 이 놀란 복음을 전하도록 해. But God bestowed His grace upon us so that we could preach the gospel. 저는 천번 만번 죽었다 태어나도 다시 복음 전하고 싶어. If I were to die a thousand times and be born a thousand times, I would be a gospel preacher. There's nothing as precious as preaching the gospel. And many people they came to realize gospel through me. And I'm so thankful to God. And more this gospel would spread out through the world. Israel, 다녀와서 바로 이스라엘을 바로 이제 
남부 아프리카 여러 나라를 방문하면 그또 복음을 전하려고 하는데. After visiting Israel, we're going to visit Southern Africa, visiting many other countries. 이번에 우리가 그 정말 군유스쿨 다녀온 학생들이 이런 귀한 일을 해서. And as our Gunyu School student, as have you have done, as you have done this precious work. 얼마나 감사한지 말로 다할수 없는. I'm so grateful to, and I, I don't know how to describe them in words. 오늘 오후에 그저 한 30분 동안 있으면서. This afternoon, as I spent 30 minutes in that house. 그분에게 이제 우리 그 따님이 미국 뉴욕에 있는데. The daughter, she is in New York. 그래서 그분이 우리 교회 몇분 오셨어요. And he visited our church uh, sometimes. 이제 허리가 많이 안 좋다 그러시는데. He has a back problem. 저 나이 한세 살인가 더 젊으시더라고요. Maybe he's younger than me by three years. 제가 참긴 이야기를 못 했지만. I could not spoke for long. 내가 아는 아주 훌륭한 의사 선생님 계신다고. And I told him I have a I know a fame a very you know very eminent doctor. 기회 되면 한번 시간을 내라고. If you have a chance, I will want you to you know spare your time and meet him. 이렇게 가서 이제 좀 치료를 어려 하려고 하는. I'm gonna introduce him to, introduce him to Elder Huang and have him treated. 황양은 틀림없이 고칠 것 같아. And I think Elder Huang would be able to treat him. I believe. 너무 너무 하나님 앞에 감사합니다. And I'm so thankful before God. 이제 나이가 많습니다. Now I'm old in age. 구원받았다는 거. But the fact that I'm saved. 언제 죽든지. Whenever I die. 감격스럽다. I would be grateful. 우리 가족이 다 구원받. All my family is saved. 또 우리 형제아들이 구원을. All, all our brothers and sisters are saved. 또 우리가 복음에 많은 구원을 받. And as we preach the gospel, many people are saved. 예수님 너무 좋을 것 같습니다. And it would be really nice to keep on doing this work. 근데 내일 하루는 우리가 금식 기도하는 시간들을 마련했습니다. So tomorrow, for tomorrow, we're gonna fast for a day. 또 이제 이런 행사는. 그 학생들이 하고. So our student, you can keep on working for this program. 우리 교회 형제자매들은 우리가 좀 2층에서. But for brothers and sisters on the second floor. 아침부터 이제 기도회를 하려고 합니다. Uh, from morning till late, we're going to have a, a fasting prayer. 이 금식은 의무가 아니고. It's not an obligation. 같이 할수 있으면 좋겠고. But if you could do it together with us, that would be great. 그런 분들은 금식 안 해도 좋습니다. If you're physically weak or not well, you can. You don't have to participate. 우리 금식하면서 우리는 이 나라 투표도 해서 이 나라에 참 훌륭한 특히 이제 최근에는 막. 나라가 악해져 가지고 인도에도 그리스도인들을 죽이는 일들이 많고. And as we fast, we want to pray for the election which is upcoming. And also, there are, the countries are getting evil. So there are people who are killing Christians in India. 중국에서 신천이가 교회를 막 폭파시키고 많은 사람 막 그렇게 해를 주고 그러더라고. And in China too, they're exploding, exploding churches and they're persecuting many people. 어 지금까지 정부 노저 뭐야 우리가 문재인 정부는 중국에 많은 영향을 받고 있더라고요. And apparently, Munjin government, they're very much influenced by Chinese government. 이번 좋은 대통령이 돼서. I hope that very good president would be elected this time. 우리 자유롭게 복음을 전할 수 있게 되길 바라. So that we could freely preach the gospel. 기독교에서 막 제안 안 받고 이렇게 마음껏 복음 전할 수 있는 그런 시대가 됐으면 좋겠습니다. I hope that this era where there is no restriction for Christianity would open. 이북이 이제 그 사회주의가 돼가지고. And as the North Korea is in communism. 정말 그 기독교 신앙이 자유가 없고. They have no Freedom to believe in Jesus. People are living very pitiful life there. 잘 모르는 사람들은 자꾸 이제 좌파 좋아하고 하는데. People are not unaware of this. They would like the left side. 정말 우리가 믿음에 있는 정말 하나님 믿는 이런 종교 자유가 있는 나라 너무 좋은데. But the country where we have the liberty for the religion, that's a very that's very good. 우리가 그 복음을 하면서 우리나라 경제 굉장히 좋아지고 복 받는 나라가 됐는데. And as we do the work of the gospel, our the economy of our country has soared. 이제 우리도 그냥 행복하게 살지만 말고. Oh, we should not just live happily ourselves. 삶 전부가 복음만을 위해 사는 삶이 되기를 바라고. I hope that you dedicate your life, whole life, for the gospel. 그보다 더 행복한 일은 없는 것 같아. And there's nothing as more happier than that. 제가 저를 통해 구원만 다 명단 한번 적어 놔 봤으면 했나 생각이 들 때도 있는데. Something I think about writing a list of people who are saved by me. 그 중에 세상 떠난 분들도 많이 있고. There's sure some of them they have already passed away. 내가 목사가 돼서. As I have become a pastor. 한편은 복음 전하다가. And while I preach the gospel all my life. 주님 말씀도 하시게 너무 감사하고. And I'm so grateful that I can stand before God for this. 복음 전할 수 있도록 하나님 길도 많이 열어 주시고. And God has opened the path for us to preach the gospel. 작년 안에 우리 문이 열려 전 세계 기독교 우리와 같이 하려고 하고 있고. And last year God opened the path for us and the whole Christianity around the world. 대부분 많은 교회 목회자들이 우리를 따르고 우리 복음을 듣고 배우려고 해서. And many Christian leaders they want to learn, learn, and they also also learn. 
they want also want to work with us. Though I'm I'm not worth anything. But I'm so thankful that I can leave for the gospel and stand before the Lord later. There are many precious things in the world. But there's nothing as precious as the gospel. I hope you leave for the gospel too. As God changed the heart of Cornelius, and He changed the heart of many people, and had them preach the gospel, I'm so thankful about it. And that gospel went to Rome, and it was spread out through the whole world. But there are still many countries where the gospel has not arrived. I hope that you dedicate your life, uh, the rest of your life to the gospel. I hope you preach the gospel to your relatives who may be abroad. I who were once living in sin and darkness, God, Jesus saved me. He made me live for the gospel until today. I'm so thankful about it. And I'm so thankful that my family got saved through me. Tomorrow it's not an obligation. We're going to have fasting prayer for uh, for one day. And as we fast, I hope you pray with the church. Even if you don't come to church, I hope you pray and fast. I hope you pray for our country, pray for our church. And our country is getting better because we preach the gospel. There are many pastors who called us cult to begin with. But today there are many pastors who are imitating my sermons. And I would say that there are many pastors who have read our books in their in their uh, who have read our books. So I think they are following us too. And I think there are many people too who have read our book and who have also received forgiveness and all the and I hope that we would leave for the gospel for the rest of our lives. We may not become a pastor or not a missionary, but I hope that you'd all live for the gospel. Let us pray. Holy Father God, the more we think about this salvation, the happier and the more thankful we become. How did we hear this gospel and got saved and became your family, became your children? We are so thankful for the cross of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this grace. But there are still many, many people living under sin without knowing this gospel. Tomorrow we're going to fast and pray. Please let us become more ca- more than capable to preach the gospel to people around us. This year, bestow your grace upon us so that people who are not saved around our fam- around yeah, us will get saved. And this time around, many of our pastors they went abroad and they preached the gospel. Please help us in preaching the gospel around the world and also let us receive your grace, Lord. We thank you for giving us this gospel in our generation. We thank, thank you for saving me and letting me preach this gospel, Lord. Bless us so that we could live for the gospel alone. Especially if there's anyone who is not saved among our family or relatives, let them all get saved. Let us all live for the gospel, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. Amen.